All right, today we're going to talk about our in-dash digital gauge. Uh, this particular one is a 202-DDG-01B. And what that means, it has one air sensor. That's what the 01 is for. And B is for black bezel. We have them in up to four air sensor configurations. So it'd be 01, 02, 03, 04. And then black or chrome, B or C. So when you first get your gauge, um, it'll start up and you'll see the home screen. And then with a single sensor, you know, you probably have it connected to your drive. So there's really no other um, configuration that you would use this in. Um, really, your only option at this point would be to decide if you want to use the estimated steer or not. Um, the estimated steer is really good if you're uh, a tractor trailer and you don't move the fifth wheel and, and you want to see what your steer and your drive is. It'll estimate the steer weight based on the drive weight. So it uses the air pressure in the drive to tell you what's on the steer. And so the things that can affect the accuracy are like um, fuel level, and then you know it's only going to see like half of it, and then any weight you have in the cab, passenger or whatever. So let's just say that we want to go ahead and use that feature. So first we'll go into settings, so we'll hit this wrench icon, um, and then we'll go to settings, and then we'll right arrow until we see EST steer. And so we'll hit EST steer, and we'll turn that on. Okay. And then we'll go back and I'll show you what that looks like in the weight screen. So go back to home, hit weight. And now you can see we've got estimated steer, drive, and our total for the truck. So we'll go back to home. So now you see here it says Cal needed. If it ever says Cal needed, that means that there's an empty or a loaded calibration missing from either the steer or the drive or whatever axles you have configured. So if it says Cal needed, you're not done yet. So we've got to do calibration. So we'll go uh, home screen and we'll hit the wrench icon and we'll go to calibration. And let's do our empty steer first. So we've got no load on the truck. We're just uh, empty. We went across the cat scale. We got our cat scale ticket and we'll do our steer weight first. Okay, we'll do empty. Do you want to enter new calibration data? I say yes. And then our ticket says 11,700 empty. So we'll enter that in. It's probably a little heavier than most people would be, but some trucks are like that. And it says, are you sure you want to change that calibration? You can say yes. Okay, so that's the empty steer. And now we'll go to drive and we'll do empty. Do you want to enter new calibration data? You say yes. And our empty drive is 11,960. So we'll enter that in. 11,960. And just to confirm, hit yes. Okay, and we'll go back to the home screen, hit the wait button, and now you can see we've got 11,009 and 11,650 right there, and then our total. So now I'm gonna raise up the air pressure, go into the gauge, and we'll do our loaded calibration. Okay, we got the air pressure raised up. Uh, I set it to about 65 PSI, which is where typically the, a loaded uh, drive axle would be. Um, and we're gonna do the heavy calibration. So we got our other cat scale ticket here for loaded. Uh, we go back to the wrench icon, hit calibration, and we'll do the loaded steer. So estimated steer, loaded. Do you wanna enter new calibration data? We say yes. And now we're gonna enter in 11,800. Enter, and yes to save it. All right, now we'll do our drive. Loaded, yes, and our drive is 34,960. Okay, enter, and yes. Okay, now we'll go, that's both of our axles, so we'll go back to the weight screen. 
And you'll see now that our, our cal needed went away. So that says we're done calibrating. And our steer and drive and our total are calibrated and ready to use.